We've been showcasing how communities across western Wisconsin are celebrating the holiday season. And our final story of the week takes us to Lacrosse, where a holiday staple is back and better than ever. After a rocky 2021, organizers believe this year's Rotary Lights event will be the best one yet. Lights are fantastic. They always put you in the Christmas spirit. Tis the season for Lacrosse's annual Rotary Lights. For the 28th year, millions of lights and intricate displays have filled Riverside Park. Rotary Lights founder and president Pat Stevens says putting the event on each year is a total community effort. We have 98 organizations helping this year, over 3,000 volunteers that help uh, fix, repair, put up, take down, and so on. Thousands of visitors are expected to visit the park this season. Some are continuing yearly traditions. Many years I've been coming down. I brought my son and my younger son, and so I don't know, probably 10, 15 years I've been bringing them down. Been here five years. It's great, great festival. You know, they seem to expand every year. Others are fairly new to the Rotary Lights experience. It's my second year, so lots of new things coming out, and it's nice to see new things every year. It's my second year here, too. I think it's a really good thing for students and families and all that stuff to come and visit. After a successful start to the season, organizers are hoping to avoid some of the setbacks they experienced last year. 2021 was a tumultuous year for Rotary Lights between a costly vandalism before the event began and severe weather that damaged many of the displays, causing a closure for the first time in Rotary Lights history. But Stevens credits the community and volunteers for building it back up better than ever. We had so many people that volunteered and I'm fortunate enough to know a lot of people in lacrosse and a lot of those that called in and volunteered to want to help I had never seen or met before so they came in with their tools and dressed to work outdoors and got us back up and going. Stevens says last year's windstorm led to more protective measures to ensure Mother Nature doesn't wreck any of this year's displays. We've got a little smarter. They all are, are anchored a little differently than they used to be this year, so the wind doesn't get under them and, uh, and blow them away. The, uh, the mega tree's not going anyplace anymore. I'll tell you, the, the base that they have on that now uh, would take much more than a windstorm to take that down now. Keeping rotary lights open is key to fulfilling the event's mission collecting food donations to help those in need. This year we'll take in uh, well over 300,000 food items. Uh, that is enough food items to uh, take care of 14 area food pantries for almost four months. The food pantries this year need it more than ever. There are more people relying on food shelves than ever before in our history. Nearly 5 million food items have been donated since Rotary Lights began in 1995. And Stevens believes that milestone will be crossed by the end of the month. With the records that we have, with the buses that we know are coming, with the uh, other activities and people that are coming down, I, I think we're going to break all records this year. Whether it be admiring the lights, enjoying live music, or visiting with Santa, there's plenty of holiday cheer for all to enjoy at Rotary Lights. Rotary Lights is open from 5 p.m. through 10 p.m. every night through December 31st. There's no cost for admission, but a voluntary food or cash donation is encouraged.